All right, step four, solving the top cross. And this is our goal, this is the objective, this is what we want. Uh, we want the top layer to have this yellow cross here, uh, as you can see. And it's similar to the first step we s in solving the cube where you form the cross, except for the top cross here, we don't need to be concerned about the edges being placed in the correct uh, positions. We're gonna worry about that in the next step where we're gonna move them around to the correct place. So all we want is a top cross, that's it. And to do that, there are four different configurations which you might find yourself in for this step, or four different cases. Uh, the best one is obviously where the cross is already formed and we don't need to do anything. Uh, another case is where we have no cross, no edges correctly oriented. Uh, another case is where we have two edges correctly oriented in a line fashion. And the other one, either than that, is where we have the edges oriented in an L shape, like that. And you're only ever going to get one of those four cases. If you ever get an even number, or I'm sorry, if you get an odd number of edges cor correctly oriented, like one or three, uh, then either your cube is messed up or you screwed something up in the first two layers. So the algorithm we're going to use to solve this, uh, and there's actually uh, different algorithms for each case, but I'm only going to show you one algorithm. And depending on the case you get, you're going to execute it one or more times, or zero or more times in, in the case of the cross. So the algorithm is this. We're going to bring the front layer, that is the one that's facing us, we're going to bring that up once, so we put this first two layer pair in the top layer as such. We're going to bring the right layer up so that it comes up without putting a pair in. So if we did an R prime, which is the right turning the other way, uh, this puts a pair in the top layer. That's not what we want. We want to bring the R layer up so that it doesn't put anything in the top layer. Uh, we're going to move this pair out of the way temporarily in the top layer. We're going to move the right layer back and we're going to put that pair back in and then put everything back to the like the way we started. So a little faster, we have front, right, up, R prime, U prime, front. There's a notation for you as well if you're wondering uh, all those letters. And depending on the case, we're going to have to execute it one or more time. So I'm going to start with the simplest case, uh, which is oops this. We have the line. This is where we only need to execute uh, the algorithm once. So if you see this case where you have a line, what we're going to do is we're going to hold the cube so that the line is horizontal to us. That is moving it across. It's on the left and right. Then we're going to execute the algorithm. Front, right up, put that pair out, right goes back, pair back in, everything back to normal. And there we go. We have that nice cross on top. Uh, say we have that L case as such. In this case, we're gonna our starting position is gonna be such that the layers we manipulate are gonna have the ones are gonna have the incorrectly oriented cross pieces. More simply, you're gonna want to have the correctly oriented cross pieces at the back and at the left. So we're gonna have it like that, and we're gonna execute the algorithm twice. We're gonna do front, right, bring the pair out, right goes back, pair back in, front down again. And here you see we're left with that line we like, so all we have to do is execute the algorithm once more. Front goes up, pair in the top layer, bring the right up, pair goes out temporarily, right goes back down, pair gets back inserted to where it started, and everything back to normal, and we have the cross. Now, the only other case, which is if we have nothing, in that case, the algorithm is going to be executed three times. So. Here it doesn't really matter where you start, the symmetry is always going to be the same, so you can hold it any way you want. Execute the algorithm once, now we have that L. I'm going to put it at the back and left again, execute the algorithm again, we have that line, and once more to finish her off, and we have the cross. Now for sake of thoroughness, I'm going to show you the algorithm for the L case as well, just in case you were wondering, because it's so similar. So. If you don't want to have to learn new algorithms, you can stop here and go to the next step. But if you feel like throwing in another one into your repertoire, uh, here it is. And it's very similar. We're going to do the front again, but instead of bringing right up right now, we're going to take the pair out first, then bring right up, then put the pair back in, then right goes back, and then front again. So as you can see, it's very similar. It's a, it All that's changing is uh, when we modify the right layer. So again, 
we have front, we're going to take the pair out first, then modify right, we're going to put the pair back in, and put everything back nicely. Once again, there you go. And the way to solve that, again, is you're going to hold it the same way so that the L shape is at the back and the right. And we're going to bring it up, pair goes out, right comes up, pair back in, right back, front back. And now we have the top cross. So there you go, that's what we want. Coming up next, correctly positioning the top cross pieces, or the edges for the top cross.